This conference will now be recorded. Hi, uh, good evening. Uh, today we will discuss one more interview question. Okay. The question is like, uh, is it possible to have negative stock for a store has been? Okay, is it possible to have negative stock? Like whenever we see the stock of a store has been, okay, is it possible to maintain the negative stock for a store has been? And what are the configuration setting to achieve the same? The answer is uh, yes, we can have a negative stock at the store has been. Uh, generally, we see for interim storage type like um, during put away when you are seeing the 902 related uh, the purchase order as the bin. Okay, such kind of uh, interim like 999, any differences. These kind of uh, storage bins uh, need to have a negative stock during the process. So we need to activate the negative allow. We generally don't allow for a physical stock which is available in the warehouse. We don't allow the negative indicator. But what are the setting and whether it is possible or not? The answer is yes, it's possible. And uh, according to my experience, we see some of the interim storage types are activated uh, for the negative and uh, normal physical storage types. I never see that negative activation is mostly not required. Okay. And uh, the negative stock can be allowed at the storage type level, not at the storage bin level. Okay. Uh, you can activate at the storage type level so that the bins which are under the storage type can be maintained the negative stock. Okay, the negative stock can be maintained for that bins under the storage type for which you activate the negative. Let us see the configuration. Uh, here I mentioned the configuration where we can uh, maintain the negative thing slash n spro. Reference IMG, then logistic execution, then warehouse management, master data, defined storage type, now warehouse and the storage type is we can say any, any, any storage type you can just take it. Okay. This is the physical storage type. See here, there is an indicator yellow negative stock, which is not activated. Let's take an interim, which has a negative allowed 902. Okay, see this negative allowed is available. Okay. If you click on uh, the documentation, this is the indicator. If you activate it, system will allow you to, to have the negative stock. If you set this indicator, the system allows you to post negative quants to the corresponding storage type. This is what happens. But the configuration at the storage type level, whether you want to maintain the negative stock or not, means do you want to allow the negative stock or not. Okay. So it can be controlled at the storage type level. So the storage bins which are under the storage type can have a negative stock if you activate this indicator. Okay. This is the one of the uh, interviews this question was asked. Okay, so that I just made uh, how where the setting is available and how do we activate uh, the negative and for physical storage types so the bins, for example, where the stock is exactly stored. Okay, for those things, uh, we generally don't allow negative because it's not recommended. For example, you want to issue a stock of 10 pieces, but the physical uh, the system wise stock is eight only. So you should allow only eight. Okay, but um, you should not, if you activate this indicator by mistake, then what happens system will allow you to take 100 or 200, whatever stock you want to take it by mistake. If you do the uh, stock removal system will allow and it will generate a negative quant. Okay, so don't activate negative for the normal storage types where the stock is stored. Okay, I hope it has given you an understanding. Thanks for your time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a good evening. This conference will now be recorded. Thanks for watching my video and uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, 
you can click on this subscribe button you will see at the bottom of the video and uh, click on subscribe button and uh, if you click on this bell icon you can give all so whenever i upload a new video you will get the notification immediately so that you don't have to miss any of my new videos and uh, see once you watch the video if you really like the video and the content is helpful for your learning don't forget to click on the like button that will encourage to the youtuber not only myself any videos you may watch some abap videos you may watch some s for hana videos any kind of videos in the youtube you just hit a like it takes one second of your time but it helps a lot to the person and uh, you can uh, use this share button you can use the share button to share with uh, telegram or facebook or any kind of uh, social networks and uh, if you see this this uh, description in the description you can uh, check my different playlists okay i mentioned all the purchasing inventory management discussion wm videos so you can use this uh, playlist to check my videos and you can uh, update your skills thanks for your time all the best for your future endeavors